Hello everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of The Oval Season 3, Episode 18. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows as well as scripted shows. If you're returning, you one of my people? Welcome back. So we have one comment from last week. It's from Karima. Hey, sister girl. Hey, boo. Yeah, you are right. They let... They left much to be desired on this episode. But did you see Hunter come in with the sunglasses on? Somehow it just didn't fit his face. And he looked dumb. I mean, that's a lot of the times. And I felt like this episode, it left to be a lot to be desired. And it's just like... It's like, I'm like, okay, this should have happened or this should have happened. I was like, I should not be writing a show or where I think things should go along. I just, I should not have to do that to the majority of the episodes. But let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all know last week, Alan was standing there in front of Hunter like he was going to do something. And there he is sitting there looking out of place and all kinds of suspicious like he wanted to do something to Hunter. And of course, since Hunter is the butt that he is, he got to talk about some, I'm sorry, you know, that Ellie is in the arms of the angel. And, but you know, she was a good girl. Ooh, I remember all the things that she used to do to me. Did she do them to you? And I was like, at that point, if he had, a, I mean, I know his goal was to dog on shoot Hunter, but like, I, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have mind at that very moment right then and right there. I, I just wouldn't have mind. Like, you was dog on and creeping with my girlfriend, and now she gone. And now you sitting there talking about some all the things that she used to do to me, do to you, and did she do to me? Uh, of course not, because, you know, she didn't like kids and stuff like that. And his tail was almost forever in the flames. Had Victoria not walked in, he would have been doggone laying right there on the ground. Now, if y'all new to my channel, when I say somebody is in the arms of the angel, that means they are no longer of this world. They go into heaven. If I say they forever in the flames, they going to hell. Because, you know, you know how YouTube is. So I'm trying. Hopefully they don't, you know, get me for that. So I'm trying to use words, you know, to try to explain things. So, yeah, I was like, yes. You was almost gone, bro. So since the vice president and the second lady, they are squeaky clean. There's nothing in their background. I thought something was in the background, and that's why, you know, the second lady was looking kind of, you know, scared. But it seems like, you know, they squeaky clean. They, you know, they're picture-perfect people like they are, like they say they are. So Victoria's like, you know, she, it, you know, she worried about creepy serial killer Jason, and she wants him to get better. But, like, at the same time, like... Mm, can you stay in, you know, automatically a deuce coma for a little while longer? Because you know she didn't already put out there that Jason was the one who was doing all the evil at the White House. But, like, I want him to get better, but just not so fast. You know, because we got to juggle some things and get some things together. So, yeah. And I'm like, and I'm looking at Hunter, and we kind of on the same page. Like, really? that That's what you want to do? Now, I now I know where Gail is because Gail got a role on, like, one of the... I don't watch it, but, like, I've seen, like, a clip. I was like, oh, that's, she was on the Oval. I guess that's why she, you know, she up and missing. So I'm assuming since her character, she no, she no, she's going to be no longer playing that character because I think she got killed or something. Is she going to come back to the Oval? I don't know. We shall see. Bobby and his beard... And Max, they sit down with the vice president and the first lady. The vice president and the first lady want to know if they can move um, creepy serial killer Jason because, you know, they are worried about him and what Hunter and Victoria will do to him if he gets bad. And I was like, yeah, that sounds about right. But you just can't be moving people's kids like that. He's still underage and like, they gonna know you moved him, like, and y'all gonna move him to, like, a secret hospital or something? Where, where y'all gonna move him to? Question. Now, I was wondering how, um, how Kyle was at the White House and nobody knew, but apparently the 
vice president has a, like a bunker at the White House. And I'm like, how come nobody is thought to look there? I know Hunter wouldn't think to look there because he knows nothing of the runnings of the White House. He's done more hunting on people that are not Victoria in the White House than he's done actual factual work at the White House. But like, what's his name? Donald, you didn't know that, you know, the vice president has a bunker? Like, Secret Service don't know about this bunker? I don't know. But I was like, I would think that would be the first place. If you're looking for Kyle and you think the vice president has something to do with Kyle missing uh, his bunker, that would be where I would think to go looking. But hey. So, Victoria and Priscilla get into it. And Priscilla's like, basically like, uh, you want my husband, you got him. Like, I don't want him no more. And she's like, I'm Victoria, question. And this Tyler, or who I'm assuming Tyler Perry wrote this episode, unless he got some old writers on hand. What does having, in your words, a big black girl booty had to do with somebody no one gonna want to be with a cheating man? So just because you got a big black girl booty, does that mean that you stay with cheating men? I didn't understand it at all. Like, um, you got you a big black girl booty. You supposed to stay with your man. I was like, since when? Who said that? And why? So, Secret Service assassin dude, him and Donald, they didn't put two and two together and they didn't realize that Cal is in the bunker in the White House. Because he was like, yeah, you know, Cal checked in and then he just, he's no longer there. He's somewhere in the White House. I'm like, oh, he in the bunker. He gonna take this key. So, he get down there. He tried to get Kyle out, but Sam has had it set up to every time he comes in and out that door, the the code on that lock changes. And I was like, Sam did all that. Smart of him, but you would think he would have had it so whenever somebody walked in that bunker, he would get like a ping on his phone and it would show him who then went inside of, you know, the bunker. Which, again, this was stupid of having him at the White House because, you know, you can find him. Now he done found him and he done gave that on it Kyle a gun. So, but that, that would be stupid for Kyle to shoot Sam because if you shoot Sam and Sam end up in the arms of the angel, that means you're going to be stuck down there without the code because Sam would be the one who has the code. Lastly, Sharon goes over there to Richard to catch him up what's going on like, child... You told me not to tell nobody. I told Kareem, and he then went to the doggone police station. He been business since last night. Then on top of that, doggone Hunter showed up at the pharmacy. Yeah, big and bold and everything. Him and creepy assassin, secret service, secret service assassin dude showed up at the pharmacy. Yes. Mm hmm He was like, I told you not to tell nobody. She's like, yeah. But I'm like, you wasn't supposed to tell nobody either. And you told Sam, and then Sam told Hunter. So, I mean... We ain't supposed to be telling nobody. We telling everybody about her. Like, Sam, what were you doing telling Hunter? But anyways, just like, yeah, Hunter knew everything. He knew that I used to go with Barry and everything. So he's like, you know what? I want you to call Dale and tell Dale that I'm going to pick him up. And he's going to come stay here because it's, it's strength in numbers. And I was like, y'all need to be working on track phones. That's what y'all need to do. Don't even get no track phone in the area. Y'all need to do like they did on the wire. Y'all go over, you know, a couple of cities and states over. Get you a track phone. Get you one of them ones you got to buy the minutes on. You got to buy the car too. Not the one that you go like um, Simple Mobile. Don't use that one. Get you one where you got to get a car too and put the car in. Okay, this 15 minutes. You know, here, these are the phones that y'all using when y'all communicating with each other about, you know, Hunter and the kip kidnapsation of Sharon. And the other time, y'all regular phones, y'all do that to call your mama. Hi, mama, how you doing? Set up your hair appointment, you know, see if your, um, your nail shop is open that day. When you're doing regular stuff, when y'all talking amongst y'all about the president and him kidnapping, 
or having Sharon kidnapped, that's when y'all use your track phone. Because I would think that Hunter, he done did all this and he know all that. He is tracking y'all on your phone and listening to what y'all saying. So, y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything, you have all means of a comment below. If you were new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. This is for y'all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on. So, in my beautiful Facebook with video, you can click on it. You can like it. You can share with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.